DC Fago Guy t-shirts are now available. Link is in the description. And that's where Magic Ninja Entertainment comes in a good play for these artists now that need somewhere to really grow. So that's going to end part one. Stick around for part two. What you thinking about? What you thinking about? What you thinking about? What you thinking about? This is part two of my new outlook on MNE. This one is titled Everything Right About MNE. The part one is titled Everything Wrong with Psychopathic Records. Make sure you go watch part one if you haven't watched it already. So let's go ahead and jump right into part two. So basically everything I had said about everything I think Psychopathic Records isn't doing or everything they are doing that they shouldn't be doing, this is where everything kind of falls into play for how I feel about MNE now. Now, before I jump into that any further, I do want to say in the past I have said some things about m and &E. There are some of those things I still feel the same way about as far as their actual logo goes. Never really was a big fan of it, and as far as a lot of the main artists on there, they did come from Psychopathic Records, and therefore I do still feel, by repping a hatchet, I still fully rep the majority of those artists on Magic Ninja Entertainment. I personally feel, and, and many people may agree, or uh, many people may disagree with me, but I do feel like Magic Ninja Entertainment is part of Psychopathic's legacy, and therefore, through that hatchet man, they are still represented, everything that they're doing now is part of that legacy of psychopathic records so I do want to clarify that people probably don't like that but the people disagree with that I guarantee it they're probably gonna talk shit in the comments that's how I feel that's my opinion you can't change it so um, as far as repping an actual ninja I, I, I won't if I do buy t-shirts which right now I'm trying to limit how much t-shirts I have so if I do buy t-shirts I try to go towards the ones that don't have that ninja logo just because and it's no hate to the actual label itself that's just personally how i feel i it's just how i feel um but anyway magic ninja entertainment they're doing some things that are great they're doing great things and that is they're giving artists a place to hone their skills in the same way that their predecessor psychopathic records they're doing everything psychopathic records once was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, giving artists a place to hone their skills, put out the albums, to grow their fan base, and, and make themselves known. And that's exactly everything a label should be doing. That's everything Psychopathic Records should be doing. I take a look at artists like Gorilla Voltage, groups like Gorilla Voltage. Um, my my love and my respect for kung fu vampire was why i checked them out in the first place those guys are great and they're able to grind and hone their skills by being on magic ninja entertainment the underground avengers is another good case in point because yes they did do an album previously through mob style music but in the same regards of like i said in part one about abk and native world and how some of the albums and the production, you can hear the difference the differences between a psychopathic produced ABK album and his independent ones. The same thing can also be said when you listen to the first UGA album versus Anomaly 88. There's a huge difference in production. And I, I don't know how much of the album was actually recorded and produced and everything like that from non-association with Magic Ninja Entertainment. I don't know much about that. According to Chuck Reeves, Magic Ninja is buying projects and putting them out. So I don't know what the situation is right there with that. Same way with Al Azul Ilu. But they're giving these artists a place to, in the same way Psychopathic Records did, to basically launch their careers and and gain a fan base and, and, and gain the audience that they need to. It's a place for them to hone, them, hone their skills and, and do what they need to do to grow. So the Magic Ninja Entertainment little Welcome to the Underground badge I think is dope just because of it, it giving the ability for these underground artists to put music out. And actually, I think that they should do that with more underground artists that are not signed to their label. Another big case in point, Kung Fu Vampire. Have an album where they... Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know how to say this because I mean, at this point, we're talking like contractual shit. But maybe somehow they work a deal out where they help front distribution. The artist pays for production and everything like that. They work out a deal like that, and they get that badge of Welcome to the Underground, M and E stamped. But it keeps that artist 
from being locked into a contract with the label, if that makes sense. I think that would be a dope idea that they could do. And like I said, that would be a great way for Kung Fu Vampire to help, to, for Kung Fu Vampire to get some help. I know he's proudly independent, and I know he works his fucking ass off, and he deserves a shit ton more recognition than he gets. Um, and I think the help of a label like that and I've said before, I think it'd be good for him to join m and &E. I've actually got a video about that. But, you know, he's a proud independent artist. So maybe a deal like that where, you know, he produces it and does the tour and everything. And maybe they help with distribution of the album and give it that stamp. That, I think, would be a really good thing for a lot of underground artists. So, you know, like I said, Chuck Reeves mentioned something about that's what they're doing is they're buying projects and putting them out. But to my understanding is, is these artists are getting full MNE record deals. I mean, El Alazuli Lu is now an MNE artist. From way I understand it, Underground Avengers is now an MNE group. So I think the Welcome to the Underground badge, the stamp, that should be like a little project of theirs in a similar way that Hatchet House was. Uh, a place for new art or for artists to come in and and have somewhere to put music out but do it without making them sign a record deal give them you know make the contract be for that album and that album alone if they want to come back for another one same kind of situation but with leaving the contracts of you know three album deal you know five album you know, those kind of contracts leave those leave those out i think that's something dope that they could be doing but my new outlook on m and &E, I don't like Twisted. I've made that clear. I'm not a fan of Gmo Ski anymore. Um, Lars, I don't know. I, I don't think I'll ever get into Lars. And Lex the Hexmaster, I'm not a fan of his style of music, but he does have my respect. So, as far as M&E goes, I still like the artists. I'm still buying the albums. Obviously, there's no ill feel, or there's no ill feelings towards the actual label itself so much that I'm going to refuse to buy these artists albums because of what label they're on to me that makes no sense that's like saying oh I'm not going to buy Riddlebox because it was put out through Jive and I fucking hate Britney Spears like that's ass backwards I mean, they're doing good things for artists that are trying to make a living and I hope they keep it up I know there's a lot of ill feelings towards the label, a lot of ill feelings towards Twisted. And yes, I've lost a lot of respect for Twisted, but I'm not going to hold that against any of the artists. I'm not going to hold that against and say I fucking hate m and &E, you know. I mean, it is what it is. Everything that happened, happened. It's whatever. I have my own personal feelings about, about Twisted. And it is what it is. I still like the artists that are on Magic Ninja Entertainment. And uh, I think the label as a whole, they're doing good things, and I think it needs to continue. So even if that means for artists on Psychopathic Records who are needing a better deal, especially if ICP is going to focus more on ICP, which is a good thing because I'm a big fucking ICP fan. I love ICP. So for them to take Psychopathic Records and make it what it used to be 20 years ago where it was just ICP, that's a good thing, and that gives Magic Ninja Entertainment gives the artists Big Hoodoo. I mean, I would rather see Big Hoodoo go to, to Native World, I think. I think that would be a better fit for him. I think he kind of became the black sheep of Psychopathic Records because of Twisted leaving when they did, because of Big Hoodoo coming out when he did. He kind of got, he kind of became the black sheep because of that, I think. So, um, I think he would probably fit in better with Native World, but Light. Um, I mean, I think Clay is pretty much at home with, with Psychopathic Records just because of his relation to the Rude Boy. But the other artists on Psychopathic Records, if they need a home and Magic Ninja is, and Magic Ninja can be that home, I'm not going to be mad about it. If it means more music from these artists that I like, that have been introduced to, thanks to the Hatchet, just like the majority of the artists on Magic Ninja Entertainment. My introduction was through Psychopathic Records, and if these artists that I've grown to love need a home and a place to put music out, then by all means, let Magic Ninja Entertainment be the home. And that's everything they're doing right, and that's what I'm loving right now about 
Magic Ninja Entertainment. So I, I've, I've been able to satellite view it and just let go of any bitter feelings towards Boondocks, towards Young Wicked. I mean, those two were quick to get over. So if future artists were to leave and go to Magic Ninja Entertainment and Psychopathic Records was able to downsize and focus more on ICP, I think that'll be better for everybody anyways. So, yeah, that's my new outlook on m and &E. I think they're doing good things for artists, and I support the artists. I support music that I love, so I'm going to keep doing that exact thing. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. If you fucking hate everything that I've said, all the praise that I've given about m and &E, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.